This meeting is called to order. Certification of compliance with open meetings law. Roll call. Carl. Here. Miller. Here. Branson. Here. May is here. Approved minutes from November 14th and November 16th, 2016, and December 15th, December 5th, 2016 meetings. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes from November 14th and 16th and December 5th. Second. It's been moved and seconded to approve the minutes from November 14th, November 16th, and December 5th, 2016. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Reports. Treasurer. Account balances. Uh, general fund has forty-eight thousand three hundred thirty-four dollars and eighty-six cents. Tax account has eighteen hundred eleven dollars and fifty-five cents. The LGIP general account has one hundred two thousand eight hundred seven dollars and nineteen cents. The LGIP fire and EMS has two dollars and sixty-two cents. Airport has forty-one thousand one hundred forty-two thousand one hundred fifty-one and fifty-two cents. LGI Airport has 55 cents. December checks rent and advanced disposal, which is an auto pay for $7,712.77. Sue, Sue Halzer, poll worker for $78. CenturyLink Telephone, $119.49. That's an auto pay. Rural Insurance Audit, $179. Daily Jefferson Union, $136.80. We Energies for the Town Hall, $63.59. Bender Levi Larson, $604.50 for Town Legal. Larry Cobb, December Salary, $369.40. William May, December Salary, $577.19. Peggy Miller, December Salary for Deputy Treasurer and Reimbursement, $587.19. And one that wasn't uh, Typing was written in Jonathan Cooper for the cemetery cleaning for seventy dollars. I'll make a motion to approve the treasurer's report. Second. It's been moved and seconded to approve the treasurer's report. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Emergency management plan. Um, the only thing is there's a meeting um January thirteenth. Fire department? Nothing. Nothing. Airport? No report. No report. Blue Spring Lake District? Uh, they completed the dredging, I guess, that they were going to do by Dick Herbst. I got an email from them. They're going to have the equipment pulled out of there this week. And Dick said that he will take care of cleaning up whatever was destroyed in the grass and grounds in the uh, access point. Building inspector? No. Highway? Uh, Ken got the uh, potholes filled last week, and now we just got snow removal. And he said he had just been out there when you called me and said Tamarack. that. Yeah, he said the Tamarack was bad, so. Oh, you have a call from Concern. So yeah. So. The buses will be on there in the morning, so it's got to be. No, he was, he was, said they had just been out there, so. Okay. Yeah, he's said they're just out on my road tour, just like that. He said he'll be here tonight, but who knows if he's gone? We'll be gone. Correspondence. Jefferson County Planning and Zoning is having their meeting on December 15th. The only one that concerns us is the John and Sally Mason. Uh, 
their, their rezoning request. And we have one from Jefferson County. And the second notice of an um, ordinance violation. A um, couple has too many animals on their property for the acreage that they have, and they were given a second notice for it. And we have um, zoning and planning permit applications for uh, Francis A. Hoff Trust. Um, apparently they put an application in to have a U.S. Cellular, I believe, tower put on their property. I think it's already on there. Um, Are you sure it isn't just to add something to it? Um, I don't know. It just says application, drawing, structure, reports, all it says. What, what is the drawing? What, can I see it once? to the village. Yeah, it's right next to it. That yeah. must be on the lake or something. Mm -hmm. off, no. Out of the out of 59? Where is that? It's oh, this way. It's out of that way. Oh, it's yeah. just before you get to the village, between yeah. Blue Spring Lake Drive and the village. This one's from Keith and Deborah Hahn, I believe it is. I don't know your name, but they're building a new house and keeping their existing garage. They're going to replace, replace the house and attach it to the garage. Or, That's yeah. on uh, Blue Spring Lake Drive. And I'm looking for an address on 51 Hay. Okay. Oh, 1496 South Shore Drive. And the last one we got was a letter from the Palmyra Eagle Community Band thanking us for our donation. <coughs> and they sent us a note that their schedule would be on their website if anybody wants to go to their concert. Okay. And that's all I have. New business. Discuss and possible action to approve Johnson Block Audit contract for the 2016 audit in 2017. Two hundred dollars more. Yeah. 
I'll make a motion to approve Gregory and Johnson Black. I move and second it to approve Johnson Block audit contract for the 2016 audit in 2017. Any more discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? No. Discuss and possible action to hire Jonathan Hooper to take care of the cemetery, Zion Cemetery, in 2017. Thank you. Jonathan is spelled wrong on here. <laughs> Make a motion first. Discuss it. I'll move to hire him. Jail second. Jail second. Uh, J O N A T H A N. No H. No yeah. H and A N. Okay. Okay. That's it looks like he did a nice job there. I think there's a tremendous benefit to having somebody right across the road take care of that. And uh, hopefully we won't get into a problem we had before. I still think it would be really nice in the spring if several citizens would like to form kind of a volunteer committee to get out there once or twice a year and fill in some of those holes because a lot of those, you know, the coffins have rotted, the graves are sinking. Is there a lot of dirt there yet? Mm -hmm. There's still quite a bit of, kind of dirt. And I know I put two big bobcat scoops of dirt in and just to pipe those holes. Oh, well. <laughs> I hope nobody else poops in there. But it was big enough. It was at least four feet by four feet and three feet deep. Somebody fell to death in the snow that had made a mess. So I think it, it would be nice just to keep it up. It's a beautiful sight. It's, it's, um, it's really pretty out there. So maybe we can find some volunteers that like to go out a couple times a year and just do some maintenance. And maybe a sign out there, too, to put their garbage in the garbage can instead of throwing it over the fence behind the cemetery. Maybe nice. put a sign in the parking lot or something. Mm -hmm. When Steve uh, got in there with his brush hog and cleaned up that tall grass, I found we found two more piles of dirt back in those trees. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's probably where they had dumped the excess in the past, mm -hmm. and the, the grass was grown up and nobody knew it. And there's also a big chunk of concrete there, and I don't know if it was a base for a monument or something else, but we'll dig that out come spring and see what it is. Back in there where the where he mowed for Steve Mowed. Well in the trees. Oh, back in the trees, yeah. Back by the dirt pile. Okay. So and Jonathan spent he mowed it and started weed eating it. He figures it'll take him he can do it in five hours. When he did it this time it was grass was kind of dying so it went pretty easy. Mm -hmm. But uh, he's willing to do it for $100 a shot, which is about half what we were paying before. And that was less than we were paying before. $100 less than we were paying. Well, and it could end up being, it depends on the level, too. Yeah. Yeah, it may, be, it may end up being. But I mean, that's certainly less per time. It would mean, give us 20 times, which right. it's never been mowed that many no, times. Yeah. It's never been mowed, but probably more than 10. And seconded to hire Jonathan Hooper to take care of the Zion Cemetery for 2017 for approximately $100. Uh, okay. Per. Per. Oh. It's a long trail. Any more discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Discuss and possible action to appoint poll acre poll workers, Margaret Burlingham, Sandra Murphy, Susan Halzer, Dawn Ing Ingenthorn, Beth Johnson, and Doris Marsh. So moved. Second. Spend. Moved and seconded to appoint poll workers, Margaret Burlingham, Sandra Murphy, Sue Halzer, Dawn Ingenthorn, Ingenthorn, Beth Johnson, and Doris Marsh. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Discussion possible action to amend the 2016 budget to reduce election salary and expense and increase insurance and bonds by $200. So moved. Second again. Moved and second to amend the 2016 budget to re reduce election salary and expense by $200 and increase insurance and bonds by $200. On, any more discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Comment, you know, 
been moved and seconded to adjourn the meeting. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Meeting is adjourned. Now we gotta go back out.